Hello, and welcome to Portland State University's CTF Walkthrough Channel. This is the walkthrough for my first SQL. I really need access to this website, but I forgot my password and there's no reset. Can you help? Here's the hint. So if we take a look at this website, we see it is uh, a login to a forum. If we try to you know, guess the username and password, you won't succeed. I bet you if you try to guess it yourself, just brute force it, it won't work. So we need to find a smarter way to crack this website. So if we look at both the hint and the title, they both reference SQL injection. So what is SQL injection? SQL itself is um, software is software used to store information in tables in an online database. For example, user and password combinations. Here is an example of what a table might look like. So as you can see here, there are six columns, ID number, last name, first name, job code, salary, and phone. So the information in each row corresponds to one individual. So Jack Chin has the following information. Uh, Janice Greenwald has this information, etc. So these hints imply that the username, usernames and passwords on this website are also being stored inside uh, such a table. So how do we crack an SQL database? Well, the hint and the title of the problem both hint at using SQL injection. So SQL injection is where a malicious user inserts a string in such a way that is, it is interpreted as code. Uh, SQL, when you're using an SQL database, you would often use SQL queries to uh, try to ping at certain uh, usernames and passwords on the table to try to uh, get usernames and passwords depending on what fields are matched. For example, uh, select users from where uh, username is John and password is one, two, three, four, five. Uh, so when you're querying for these kind of strings, you would have to use uh, you'd have to use quotation marks, right? So let's try injecting a quotation mark because this will probably create an uneven number of quotation marks. One single quote, gosh. So it tells us there's an error with your request, and in doing so, it handily shows us the clause as well. So this is select uh, anything from, so select any items from the user's table, where the user equals a botched line of code and pass equals empty string. So normally, uh, when a user is using this normally, whatever they enter for user would be injected there, and whatever they enter for password would be injected here. But since we used this improperly, we simply injected a single quote, we caused the code to crash, and in doing so, we were able to see what the SQL query is. So now that we know what this query is, what can we do to inject into it? So I'm going to pull up my handy notepad right now. So this is what we know the query could be. So what can we inject in here? Well, why don't we try injecting the user equals foo or one equals one and the password also this. So what happens when we inject this? So if we were inputting this into the user password uh, fields, then what would be inject it'd be injected to here, and this is what happens. Select anything from users, and also here too, sorry. Select anything, any objects from the users table where user equals foo or one equals one. Now this always evaluates true, so uh, we are going to cause some serious damage with this. And same thing for password. And pass equals foo or one equals one. Now because of the clever way that we injected quotation marks, we didn't uh, screw up the number of quotation marks, so the whole thing still runs. And in fact, this would return all users because one always equals one. So select anything from users where the user equals one and where the user equals true, password equals true. So uh, since these statements are never false, this 
uh, simply selects everything. So let's try injecting this into our database. And in doing so, we are able to log in as admin. Isn't that great? And we also get the flag. I guess that's secondary to having hacked the website. But anyways, you get the flag and you get some points in PicoCTF. Challenge is complete.